there you are. I need, Nesh Mead. Yeah, you heard me, Nesh. But, more ale. Much more. Wait, you ain't the waitress. Oh, I know you want to say something, but you won't. You think that'll just encourage me? Well, maybe that's what I want you to think. Or maybe, you know that's what I want you to think. All this time I thought I was annoying you, but actually... Nah, can't be. All of this rubbish about lost civilizations must be getting to me. I've read a dozen histories, and I still don't know nothing about that magic of limits. What I did find, though, is where she would have gone if she wanted to see her sister, and it's in Tamra. So what do you say? Come and visit my home. I'll be waiting for you when you get there. I may have forgotten to tell Kane Tine how to get here. That's unfortunate. Come to think of it, I ain't sure she can get here. The tunnel's only for dwarfs, and... Kane Tine. Where'd you come from? So it was you folks that got the ladder moving. Ha. Huh. I can't believe you managed that, and didn't even tell me. Just when you think you know a person. Yes, yes, that's a joke. Anyhow, the place I want to show you is just over there. Follow me. do this all day. You won't believe this. I was mixing different powders, and thought the explosion might look pretty up in the night sky. So I tried it. Oh my beard, it was like seeing a flower unfurl, but on fire. I have to tell everyone. Nothing to worry about. This monstrosity came flying at my face, rudely, I might add, when I unsealed the old tunnels. But everything's under control. As you can see, I gave it an old-fashioned dwarf and decking. Yeah. They're the reason that I brought you here. Can't say I was expecting such a nasty welcome, but maybe I should've. Let me explain. We don't use it no more, but before the flood, dwarfs lived in this place. Only the sick ones, mind. In those days, there was this illness called stone blight turned your skin to stone, bit by bit, and it was just a matter of time, a few months, or a few years, until you were petrified completely. No one knew where it came from, but they did know that it was contagious. And so they, they locked them all up. 
here, in the Blight Warrens. They needed to keep it from spreading, because there was no cure. Not back then. Blame it. Was it not enough to leave without permission? Or to return unbidden, bringing these strangers into our home? You knew full well that entering the Blight Warrens is forbidden. How many of our traditions must you trample before you are satisfied? If you so refuse to respect your heritage, you have no place here. As head of the council, I hereby banish you. You are no longer a dwarf. Be gone, and never return. Be gone. Have you lost your wits? Blame it just cured your people her sister, and all the others. She left your village to find a way to save them, and she did, she did what no one else would. Your words have no weight here, outsider. This is a dwarven matter. Silence. Silence. I will not be silent. You have no idea what we what lame it has been through. That's enough, Ardbert. Whatever my reasons, I did break our laws, and I did so knowing that this would be the result. I will accept my punishment. I leave my dwarven pride behind today. Blame it. If Lamit is leaving, so am I. You probably didn't think much of us after you shoved us in there to die, but it was awfully hard to breathe. We all took our helms off. If Lamit is going to be banished for breaking our traditions, then I should be too. As the young lady says, none of us is perfect. It ain't right that Lamit should be the only one punished for it, especially seeing as she was saving us. Come on, exiles. We keep our faces plain for all to see, and our heads held high. Everyone. Are you sure you're all right with this? 
We could go back. We could. What? Pamil the elders with your axe. I know you are not that fledgling adventurer who got knocked flat by Hobbs anymore. You could probably defeat even our strongest warriors. But forget it. We have more important things to worry about. We still haven't found what caused the illness in the first place. If it really is the Shadow Keeper again, well, you know what we have to do. If this is what it takes to save our world, I will give up my home and more, Ardbert. And anyway, it's not all bad. I don't think I really understood, before, how beautiful it is out here. How nice the wine feels. It is nice, isn't it? And for what it's worth, I'm glad you're here. Helmet or no? Ardbert. Thank you. Hey, hope daughter. Ah, uh, ugly. Look, I'm running out of insults here. And I'm starting to feel bad. Just wake up already. Finally. Well, that was harrowing. About as soon as you started doing your thing, that Sinita decided to rise from the dead. Though I suppose that's mostly my own fault for not dealing it an extra blow or two just in case. Anyhow, what did you see? I knew it. I knew that Lamit was the one who cured Stone Blight, it had to have been. She saved all of them. And they, they exiled her for it. And the the head of the Council of Elders. I suppose I wandered off. Got caught up in my own thoughts. Actually, can you, give me a moment? Or maybe a while? I just... I'm not sure what to think, is all. I don't want to keep you from your other work, so... See you later. <laughs> 